Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Conclave as Scotland. In our last episode, we managed to win our war against England, our offensive war this time, but for reasons which I do not understand, we somehow managed to gain only the duchy title for our claimant, and he didn't gain any of the land. He already had this county, but he didn't gain the other two counties, which are digital part of the duchy, which, um, if anyone can explain this to me, please let me know. Uh, let's just have a look at the duchy title here. History. Yes, he conquered it as a claimant. The previous holder was the duke himself. Is that relevant, maybe? I don't know why that would make a difference. The current guy who has these counties is a triple count, or earl. I guess his primary title is Gloucester? Does that make a difference that his primary title is outside the duchy? Anyway. It's not really relevant at this point, I suppose. What's done is done. We also have a Waldensian uprising up here that we need to go and deal with. And we have a looming adventurer threat, which is going to be in May of 1200. So we should be ready for that. We are trying to kill him, but nobody seems to be getting on board with this yet. Well, we can bribe some people, so let's see if we're likely to get over 100. We get another 42% there. Uh, yeah, it looks like we could get over 100, but it might be expensive because two of these people are dukes. I think this might be more expensive than I am willing to actually do. It doesn't seem worth it. I think it's going to be cheaper to just fight him when he arrives if it's going to cost us a thousand gold or thereabouts. I think we have better things to spend our money on. Speaking of spending our money, we do have quite a lot, so maybe we should actually spend some. See if we have the technology necessary to upgrade any castle towns. Not in the capital, at least. Can do it here. I think we upgraded the walls there most recently. Capped on technology there, but we can do it here. And Captain Technology here. Alright, well, we'll just do a few more upgrades in the capital then, I suppose. Uh, we could do our cultural building type. Uh, the Shiltron is a compact body of Scottish pikemen. You get more pikemen and more pikemen defense by upgrading this, but it is very expensive, so maybe we'll wait until a bit later on before doing that. And maybe just to upgrade the keep, which gives us a increase to our levy size. We can get some cheaper upgrades in these lower holdings, I think. Probably just the keep as well, actually. Okay. So a son was born to us and our... Uh, no longer our wife, actually, since we got a divorce named Bethan, okay. Speaking of which, we did marry, of course, the Duchess of Wessex, which, now that I think about it, is probably not going to lead to us gaining any of this land directly. Wessex is on primogeniture and we are on Tanistry. So the two titles will be unlikely to go to the same person, but it should end up with us having claimants hanging around of our dynasty to the Duchess of, or to, to the Duchy of Wessex. And we'll be able to press their claims later and conquer this or this duchy pretty easily by doing that. So I think it's worth doing probably for that reason. If nothing else. And we have dangerous factions again. It's the Cancel Power Faction. Our Earl of Leinster, Duke of the Isles, and of course, our Duke of Galicia. So he's still happy from his previous gift, so I don't really know what we can do about him, if anything. We can, of course, get rid of the Earl of Leinster if we want to. 
by creating the duchy title down here and granting it to either him, which would just make him very happy, or the Earl of Ossery. And I guess we may as well do that. So we need to appoint a commander. Uh, I don't think any of these people are in factions. Maybe East Anglia is. Nope. We'll let the Duke of the Isles be commander. He is in some factions. Or at least this one. Could be enough to get him out. He's already had a gift, an honorary title. Okay. The army from Sicily, or part of the army from Sicily, is actually still hanging around here, even though it's now neutral. Uh, we probably should wait until we have some more troops here. We're a little bit too close for my personal comfort in this potential battle, especially attacking into the hills. Our rival, this Earl, was the one who was playing around with our former wife, founded a faction. Wants to put our kinsman Prince Gilroy on the throne. Well, just by himself, we don't really need to be concerned. Uh, we should actually probably use our Chancellor to try and improve opinion with one of these people. He's got 2.6k, you've got 2.5k. So, the Duke of the Isles it is then. Uh, he's leading troops apparently, so... Tell him to stop doing that. Alright, we're up to 9,000. I think we'll wait for another one or two ticks of reinforcements here. And our niece needs a focus. She's indolent and rowdy. So... Marshall would be okay. And Indolent just has no positive effects at all. I guess we'll get our Marshall education. Guess it doesn't matter too much. So we should overcome the hills penalty here pretty easily, and we actually captured the leader. I think the battle probably would have given us 100% anyway, but we can force our demands and then execute Ogmund. Everyone agrees. No one will care. Sorry, Ogmund. Okay, we can finally get our troops disbanded and stop annoying all of our vassals. At least for a little while here. Alright, so we have... Seven months or so until our adventurer arrives, and our son Prince John needs to be educated. Or at least to have a focus. So I think we'll just get him something stewardship related, maybe? Thrift? Seems fine. And I very much doubt we're going to need to mercenaries to fight this adventurer, so I think we'll build upgrades in the three remaining holdings that we aren't currently building anything in. Maybe we'll keep it to the relatively cheap ones, though. Nothing too cheap available here. I guess this is the cheapest. Seems good. I've seen how our friend Duke Torquil handles swords, and it is not a pretty sight. Half the time he seems to forget which side is the sharp one. Should I laugh or should I cry at the Duke's incompetence with the sword? Now he seems to think I should teach him all I know. So we can only try. He likes us better. Um, 
It's probably not going to make a difference since he's our friend. He's going to like us no matter what. You tell him to give it up and he's disappointed. Or he'd say, I'm risking my life so I'd like to get paid. Let's try to help him. Not that I think we're incredibly good at martial things ourselves, but hey. Alright, so we'll stay at peace until May anyway. Let these opinion penalties tick down and make sure that we have a strong levy to fight the adventurer with. I've been corresponding regularly with my sister Edith and always make sure to see her whenever I get the chance. It's a harsh world and family must stick together. Okay. It's the Empress of the Holy Roman Empire, of course. So probably a good idea to stay on her good side. And our Duke of the Isles had his opinion improved. He's up to 67. And he is out of factions, so let's move our Chancellor over to Galicia. Can we do anything about our rival here, Brittany? He's in hiding, so we can't have him killed, really. Yeah, we'll probably just ignore him, he's not causing too many problems. Our Duke of Munster approaches us. My liege, I have a great idea for a monument, something to raise our cultural status and make the people notice what a great ruler you are. I would require some gold and your patience, and the work would take a year to complete. 493 golds. Improve his opinion, though. Yeah, okay. I'll do it. But if this adventurer arrives with 30,000 troops and I can't afford mercenaries, I'm going to be annoyed. I need Duke of Man. The defensive pact opposing the Kaiser has been disbanded, which I think means he's died. Yes. Which also means that we no longer have pact with him. Can we renegotiate? We can't. Probably means that England doesn't have a pact with him either, though. He only has Norway. Okay, good to know. Okay, England has declared war on us. <laughs> Again. Uh, this is a really bad timing because, of course, we're due to have an adventurer arrive on the 21st of May. So let's see, how strong is England right now? 15,000. It's unexpected. Alright, well, we have... Let's give it a few days anyway because we'll be getting an opinion bonus... We're defending against foreigners, I think, which will improve our levies. Invest in technology, namely culture tech, which we'll just get noble customs, I suppose. No, we can't, okay. It's actually military tech. Um, yeah, organization then, I suppose. Let's get majesty here, maybe. Might have been better to that for legalism or something. That's okay. Alright, well, I do kind of wish I hadn't spent money on that monument and all of these upgrades at this point, but what can you do? I don't think there's any chance we're going to kill the claimant before he arrives. Let's see if we can get good alliance on our side, maybe, with the new Kaiser. Let's see, his eldest son, not already betrothed. We do have a niece of appropriate age. If he'll accept, which he will. Okay. Alright, let's le raise our levies at this point. We are getting substantially more now. Which is good. We'll, as usual, transport these guys over by boat.
Make sure to actually get all of them, of course. And that, I think, is everybody else. We probably could afford to hire a smaller mercenary band if we need to, but we'll see about the Kaiser first. He's not involved in any other war, so he should be free to come over here if he actually can be bothered. Our betrothal goes through. Okay, so the host is attacking over Ulster. The duchy or the county? The whole duchy, okay. And where are you? In Brittany, okay. Uh, speaking of Brittany, maybe we could have another look at getting some kind of alliance over here. Probably not. We looked before. She's probably going to die soon, actually, and... Brittany's going to be inherited by Sicily, so maybe if we got an alliance with him. We betrothed the Princess Allison to our son, Prince Ewan. That seems okay. He won't accept. Political concerns would prefer matrilineal marriage. Could we allow that? I guess we can. Although Ewan is our eldest son, we're not on primogeniture, so he won't be the heir. Most likely. Unless people vote for him later. I guess it is a little bit dangerous, but no, we'll do it. We'll do it. We might need all the help we can get here. Uh, how strong, incidentally, is our host invader here? 6,000, so not huge, but not insignificant. Let's see if we can get an alliance with the Kaiser. We have our betrothal with Sicily. Let's see if we can get an alliance with him as well, actually. He's actually fighting Queen Stephanie? His mother? That's weird. Uh, he's only in that war as an, as an ally, though. I guess that means we won't be called into the war, so we can form an alliance with him. And he might even come and help us out. Right, well, we have Sicily in, but we don't have... Oh, we do have the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, great. He just hadn't sent his reply yet. Okay, so I think we're looking pretty good now. We have nearly as many troops as England ourselves, plus we have one very strong ally and one probably decently sized ally on our side. 14,000. Though he may be distracted with his other war. Alright, so England has 10k up here, and now they have another 4,000 right behind, so we're not going to be able to catch that army by itself. But we have relatively equal numbers. In fact, we might even slightly outnumber him a bit. If he does choose to engage us in battle. Try to lure him into the hills here. He is actually a county away, so if we caught him in Cumberland, we'd have probably some time to fight the 10k by themselves before the reinforcements arrive. Let's see, that's going to be 15k, so we'll have slightly more. Hmm. So if we head in now, yeah, I think we'll take this battle. I kind of like the look of it. Get our best commanders in, of course. We're not quite at full morale, but I don't want to waste because the 5,000 reinforcements are getting closer every day. And here's the host, so we're 
I'm not going to be able to path this army through here. We'll just disband this for the moment. Alright, well let's see how this battle goes. This might be a mistake. Okay, we're actually going to have 9 days to fight the 10k without their reinforcements in. But then we have about another 1000 of our own coming in. And we're up to 91% morale, I think. I think we'll do it. I believe. Let's see how it goes. We do have better commanders, so that's good. Alright, the reinforcements are in, our numbers are almost equal. We'll get another thousand in. Any reinforcements on the horizon? We've got... No sign of any troops from the Holy Roman Empire arriving anytime soon, and Sicily seems to be marching over by land. We do have a host army over here in Brittany. Maybe that's where they're going, so we might not be able to count on any help here. Even after this initial battle, but it looks like we're going pretty well. I think we're gonna win it, probably. Yeah, we're gonna break the center, which is probably gonna do it. And our Duke of Galicia likes us better. Next time, maybe have somebody command the center. Usually considered a good tactical move. Oh, we lost our right flank, though, so this could be bad. We're stronger here, though, I think, so... Should beat them. Though of somewhat dubious provenance, this Duke of the Isles has read me with evidence that our Duke of Galloway is plotting treason against me. I don't think that's too likely. Wants to kill the Duke of Connacht, but I don't actually care that much. We'll keep it to ourselves. Okay, so we beat the right flank and the left flank. Okay. So we have won. It was very close, though. Gain 27% war score. We might even get a white piece at this point. But why wouldn't we push them to 100 again? How will they ever learn their lesson if we don't constantly take money from them? But anyway, we're out of time for this episode, so we'll have to leave it here for now and continue with it next time. So thanks for watching, and join me again then.